name is Mark Gretchen from the Technical University in Munich, and I would like, together with Sarah Schwitala, summarize our findings that we have obtained over the last years regarding the initiation of intestinal tumor genesis. For many years, there has been a long debate about the cell of origin of intestinal cancer, and only recently it could be shown that it's the stem cells in the crypt that really are the true tumor initiating cells in the intestine. However, we now found that also post-mitotic cells can be de-differentiated into cells with stem cell characteristics and thereby providing them with the same properties as the actual stem cells in the crypt and therefore those cells can equally initiate tumor genesis as those stem cells within the crypt. As we know, according to Führer and Vogelstein's established concept of tumor genesis, one of the first events during colorectal carcinogenesis is the manifestation of an activating mutation in the wind pathway. So we used a mouse model having an intestinal epithelial-specific mutation in the beta-catenin gene, leading to a massive hyperproliferation and loss of function of the intestinal crypt epithelium. And strikingly, NF-kappa-B was highly activated throughout the transformed cell compartment. Okay. Further studies revealed an activation majorly by TNF-alpha, but was also possible intrinsically via additional oncogenic KRAS activity. We also discovered that by genetically and pharmacologically switching on and off NF-kappa-B, we were able to modify the degree of wind activity and thus enhance or delay the severity of the hyperproliferative phenotype. Enhancement of NF-kappa-B, for example, accelerated the adenoma formation and interestingly, we found the formation of adenomatous crypt structures, even in the upper parts of the villi, clearly separated from the crypt compartment, suggesting a de novo formation of these aberrant crypts from differentiated enterocytes. Furthermore, the re-expression of the multipotent stem cell marker LGR5 in these aberrant crypts made a development by de-differentiation of enterocytes rather likely. In an ex vivo experiment taking crypts and villi from APC and APC KRAS animals, we found villi from APC KRAS animals to be able to form spheroids resembling adenomatous structures, independent of wind and R spondin. Indeed, injecting these cells into nude mice led to tumor formation. All these observations strongly supported the top down model of tumor genesis, in addition to the prevailing bottom up concept. In order to have in vivo proof for this hypothesis, we created a mouse model with an inducible CRE recombinase being active only in non-stem cells in the intestine. It enabled us to induce a hyperactivated wind pathway in intestinal non-stem cells only. Excitingly, indeed by additionally enhancing the NF-kappa-B activity directly or via oncogenic KRAS, tumors grew from non-stem cells re-expressing LGR5. So, enhancement of wind signaling by direct interaction with NF-kappa-B is essential to start a de-differentiation process in non-stem cells to re-express LGR5 and initialize adenoma development, rendering NF-kappa-B a very powerful factor to shift a differentiated cell state towards a stem cell-like phenotype. Our genetic evidence for de-differentiation as a likely event for the generation of tumor-initiating cells supports a general bidirectional interconversion model between non-stem cells and stem cells rather than only the well-accepted unidirectional course.